Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. Chief Development Officer Judy Urquhart. And for the president uh, on this uh, Monday, the first Monday, of February, uh, busy as always at Bristol Community College. So let's uh, talk a bit about the, the foundation and, uh, and its initiatives. Excellent, yes. So the Bristol Community College Foundation is um, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that was actually established back in 1980 um, with the express purpose of raising funds to support the important work that is happening at Bristol Community College. So we have a variety of ways in which we raise funds that include our mail appeals, email solicitations, grant funds from foundations, gifts from individuals' wills, and of course, special events. Uh, in fact, one of our most popular fundraising events is our annual benefit golf tournament, which is held each September. And this coming year, 2023, will be the 27th year of that special event. So we're really excited to um, have that happen. And it's, it's really through our fundraising efforts that we support three key areas of the college. Um, the first are, of course, student scholarships, of which we offer about 150. So at the end of the day, we're really committed to minimizing the burden of college debt that so many of the, so that so many of, of our students can focus on their opportunities to learn. So our scholarships typically range in size from about $500 up to a few thousand, and students can apply for those annually based on any number of criteria, including financial need, academic merit, and their area of study. And to give you a sense of how much we disperse, last year we gave out nearly $400,000 in scholarship support. Wow. Okay, that's quite yeah. a bit of money, yeah. It, it is. Um, so the second area of support for us are through funds that go to specific academic programs. So, for example, we have funds that support our Holocaust and Genocide Center, whose mission is to develop curriculum and provide teacher training about um, the history and really the atrocities, not just of the Holocaust, but other genocidal events around the globe. Um, and then another example is funding to our adult education area. Area, especially for those adult students where English is a second language or those individuals who are pursuing their high school equivalency degree later on in life. Um, and then finally, our third area are wraparound student supports. So we help fund, our, for example, our student wellness area, which provides mental health counseling for our students, which especially now when so many are feeling uh, high levels of stress and anxiety, this service is so critically important. Um, and then another example is our care fund, which helps students who are experiencing either a difficult or extenuating circumstance that might impact their ability to continue school. So some of the ways that we help our students uh, with our care fund is through rent assistance, um, support for transportation, or help with a utility bill. So ultimately, the care fund helps us to remove any barriers for our students so that, that they can focus on their academic journeys. All right, boy, there's a ton of stuff there. Let's start. There is. Let's just get a, one, a couple of points in before we wrap it up. What's the best way for college-bound uh, kids uh, to go ahead and uh, and apply for scholarships? Just go to the website. Is, is that the best way? Exactly. If they go to www.bristolcc.edu backslash foundation, um, there will be a link for scholarship applications. Those are going to be opening up at the end of February and um, continue until about mid-April. 
They then go through a review process and we make our final determinations around middle of May and then disperse those scholarships throughout uh, the following academic years in two uh, waves, first in fall and then in the spring. All right. And before we wrap up the interview, uh, let's just get a couple of pointers from you and how uh, listeners and organizations can uh, support the Bristol Community College, uh, College Foundation. Yes, thank you so much for asking. Yes, donors can um, make gifts uh, primarily through our website. So if they go to bristolcc.edu uh, backslash donate, they'll see the many ways that they can support the organization. They can either send in a check, make an online credit card donation. We accept stock donations, of course, event participation, and one can even name Bristol in their will or bequest. So there's many, many ways that one can give. And of course, because we're a nonprofit organization, all of our donations are fully tax deductible. And we're proud to say that we've earned uh, two seals of fiscal transparency, one from GuideStar, the other from Charity Navigator, both of which demonstrate to our donors that their gifts are being used wisely. That is excellent. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Judy. Judy Urquhart, the Chief Development Officer at Bristol Community College. How many years have you been there, Judy? Oh, gosh, only nine months. So I, I'm oh, a so you're, you're a newcomer. All right. Yes, so I, I am. Did you, did you come from out of state or in state or are you, were you nearby? You were... I was working for a Washington, D.C. based Oh, Washington, Washington D.C. Yeah. Okay. So this is a little bit of a change from, I guess, from Washington. <laughs> a little bit, but it's all good. It's wonderful. Good for you. All right. Well, Fred, wonderful to have you in the area. And best of luck with all your programs down the road. And uh, we'll touch base again sometime. Thank you, Judy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. All right. On. You're Bye. welcome. All right. There she goes.